Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Adams Field in Quincy for the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Finals. And tonight, it is the Ashland Sevens taking on Medfield. If Ashland wins today, they will be the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League champions. If Medfield shall win, there will be a game tomorrow that would be a must win for both teams. The Ashland Sevens come into tonight's matchup with a record of 19 and two. Pretty incredible stuff by the Ashland Sevens. And yeah, Medfield, they have just four losses on this season. They finished second place in the standings and they are looking for the upset here today. But this is gonna be their second game of the day as at the five o'clock game, they took down Quincy seven to six to advance to the championship round of this two loss elimination format playoff system in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. Tom Nappy on the call, Connor Donovan on camera. This is Ashland Seven Summer Baseball on HCAM and Hopkinton, WACA TV in Ashland, as well as HCAT in Holliston. Dylan Fonseca getting the nod tonight for the Ashland Sevens. Let's take a look at the diamond. Jackson Horning behind the plate, Dom Cavanaugh at first base. Tyler Dossis, the second baseman. Dante Diavanzo, the shortstop. Mason Dushney at third base from left to right. Kevin Balowitz, Sam Farrell, and Nick Calabrese. For the Medfield River Rats, their lineup consists of leading things off, third baseman Nick Sheehan. Batting second, second baseman Max Goodman. Batting third is D.H. Dennis Fullen. The center fielder Sam Palmer hits cleanup as Sheehan steps into the batter's box. Batting fifth is the left fielder Ben Leonard. Jack McDonald, the first baseman, batting sixth. Jack Goodman, the shortstop, hitting seventh. Ryan Murray, the right fielder, hitting eighth. And Michael Giglio, the catcher, hitting ninth. Matt Donahue on the mound tonight for the River Rats. Wind up and the pitch. And a little outside there, one and O oh to start things off. It is a beautiful night here at Adams Field in Quincy. Some clouds in the sky, but temperatures Relatively comfortable as this is hit in the air over to center field right at Sam Farrell, one away. And I'll bring up Max Goodman, the second baseman. And the Ashland Sevens, as well as Natick hopping on with the Zone 6 Independent League, as known as the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League, since the Legion season was canceled. And they have had a whole lot of success against some very good competition all season long. Fonseca set to deal. And this is going to be up the middle, glove by the second baseman, throw to first, not a problem. Dosses to Kavanaugh, four to three for out number two. That'll bring up Dennis Fullen, the designated hitter. And we do have a Hopkinton Senior Ruth final. Hopkinton defeated Marlboro in game one of a best of three championship series, three to two over at Hopkinton High School. So Hopkinton takes the one nothing series lead over Marlboro. We will have Hopkinton Senior Ruth Baseball live tomorrow night from Marlboro. We'll have game two. And if game three is necessary, we'll have that one as well on Saturday night. A swing and a miss there, 0-2. Oh We did have an HCAM crew down at the game, making sure we got the film for you, and we'll make a broadcast out of it as well. And there's a breaking pitch, a little high, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Dylan Fonseca's had a good season. He's pitched 23 and two thirds of an inning, two wins, one loss, one save on the year. He has struck out 22 hitters, and he strikes out another here. Four out number three, and he also has a 266 ERA. Hoping to bring that down tonight against this Medfield team. We are moving along to the bottom of the first. The Ashland Sevens coming up next in this state championship round matchup on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAM. Bottom of the first inning, the Ashland Sevens coming to the plate. Scoreless game with Medfield. If Ashland wins, they win the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League title. If Medfield wins, we'll have a game tomorrow right here in Quincy. Let's take a look at the Sevens lineup. Dante Diavanzo, the shortstop, leading things off. Sam Farrell 
The center fielder batting second, Jackson Hornung, the catcher hitting third. Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman hitting clean up. Tyler Dossis, the second baseman hitting fifth. Kevin Balowitz, the left fielder hitting sixth. Lawrence Tang, the DH hitting seventh. Mason Dushney, the third baseman hitting eighth. And Nick Calabrese, the right fielder hitting ninth. On the mound is Ryan Donahue for Medfield, and he delivers one low there, 1-0. Ryan Donahue set to deliver, wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. A one and one count on Diavonzo. It's Matt Donahue on the mound, excuse me. That pitch up high. Matt Donahue out of Medfield High School. Getting the start today, and we'll get you the diamond in just a minute for Medfield. A low pitch there, three and one. Matt Donahue on the mound, Mike Giulio the catcher, Jack McDonald at first base, Max Goodman the second baseman, Jack Goodman the shortstop, wind up and the pitch, fouled into the backstop. Nick Sheehan at third base from left to right, Ben Leonard, Sam Palmer, and Ryan Murray. A three and two count on D'Avanzo. Donahue set to deal, and he'll get a piece of this one into left field. It goes, that'll drop down for a hit. A lead off single for D'Avanzo, and that'll bring up Sam Farrell. Sam Farrell, the speedy center fielder, stepping in with a runner on first and no outs. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Go oh and one. Donahue looks at first and checks in. Runner back safe. Dante Diavonzo, a lot of speed, certainly a threat to steal. Line up and the pitch. Up high. One and one. Ivanzo with a slight lead over at first base. Down low, two and one. And you wonder how much pitching Medfield has left after playing four games in three days, including the five o'clock game today. Sliding back to first safely is Diavonzo on the check-in. Line up and the pitch. That is low, three and one. We got the Ashland Sevens bench right next to us. To our right, as this is hit up the middle, slow roller picked up by the shortstop, flip to second for one, that's all they'll get. So Farrell reaches a via six to four force out, one away, that'll bring up Jackson Hornung to the plate. Jackson Hornung, catcher. And he can play just about anywhere on the field. Line up and the pitch, up high. One and oh. Set to deal, there's a strike, one and one. Line up and the pitch, a little high, two and one on Hornung.
He deals, fouled away. Devon's, oh, will have to, or excuse me, Farrell will have to retreat to first base. Wind up and the pitch. Up high, that'll fill up the count. Three and two on a Hornung. Wind up and the pitch, down low, Hornung draws the walk. Two on, one out, that'll bring up Dom Cavanaugh, the first baseman. Morning last night in the four to three win, scored a run. Don Cavanaugh had a hit of his own. He went one for three. And some words of encouragement from Mike Giulio to Matt Donahue. Cavanaugh steps in. He'll take it low. Here's the 1 0. Up high. Well, Donahue having a little bit of a struggle finding the strike zone. Sam Farrell at second, Jackson Hornung at first. One out in the inning. The pitcher steps off to get the runner back. Wind up and the pitch, and this is up the left side. Glove by the third baseman, throw to second for one. Throw to first, is going to get away, and now Farrell's gonna come around to score and make it a one to nothing sevens lead. Well, Sam Farrell taking advantage of the misfire. And he comes around to score on the error. Errant throw from the third baseman. Two away run in, Tyler Dossis to the plate with Jackson Hornung on second. Dossis has been incredible in the postseason. He's been clutch on the mound, clutch in the batter's box, and he takes that one outside. One and oh. Wind up and the pitch, outside. A 2-0 count on Dossis. And Tyler Doss has scored the game tying run yesterday. Tie the game at three at that point, and then Balowitz followed right after as that pitch is up high. Three and oh. Doss has came around to score on a wild pitch. And then a misfire to the pitcher at home plate as Balowitz was trying to score, allowed him to score the go-ahead go run. As that is fouled away. Three and one on Dossis. Wind up and the pitch. There's a called strike. Three and two. Set to deliver, up high, there's a walk. And Horna going to third, and they got him. Well, they took the risk, and it didn't pay off. A two to five out to get Hornung. And after one inning of play, it is the Ashland Sevens leading Medfield in this championship round game. One to nothing on HKM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Top of the second inning, four, five, and six to up. For the Riverazzo Medfield, Sam Palmer, Ben Leonard, and Jack McDonald, 
A one to nothing lead for the Ashland Sevens. First pitch is down low. One and oh. Fonseca deals, and this is up the middle off of Fonseca, and now the second baseman gonna run in and overthrow first base. And good job by Horn on getting all the way up the line to back up Kavanaugh to keep Palmer at first base. Well, that was an awkwardly hit ball. I'm gonna give that a base hit for sure. Went right off of Fonseca, then Dossis had to try to track it down. And he got the throw off, but a little bit of an overthrow. Ben Leonard will step in with a runner on first. Wind up and the pitch. In there for a strike. Oh and one. Slight lead off of first for Palmer. Fonseca looks over and deals. There's a strike, 0 and 2. He winds, he deals. Strike three. One away. Jack McDonald, the first baseman, will step in. Set to deliver, a little low. Good block by Hornung. Well, Fonseca has just gotten better and better on the mound throughout the season. And he did pitch a good game against Hyde Park in game one of the quad play as he delivers a strike there. But of course, a number of circumstances happened in that game that just did not go in Ashland's favor. But they came back the next day, got the win to advance to the final four. There's a strike, one and two. One on, one out. He winds, he deals, and this is hit in the air over to right field. That'll drop in for a base hit. Two on, one out. Palmer up to second, McDonald to first, Jack Goodman in the shortstop to the plate. Fonseca takes a look at second and deals. A little low there, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air to left field. That'll get down for a hit. And coming around to try to score is the lead runner, Sam Palmer, and we have a one-to-one -one game. An RBI single for Jack Goodman. I'll bring up Ryan Murray. McDonald moving up to second. Well, brand new ball game now here in the top of the second. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. Well, looks like we've got a good strike zone tonight so far. Fonseca set to deal. There's strike two, 0 and two. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. Two away. That'll bring up Michael Giglio, the catcher. Hey, 
Wind up and the pitch. Outside, one and oh. He winds, he deals. Outside, two and oh. Well, if you're the sevens, you just want to get out of the inning, get those bats back up there. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Two and one. Fonseca already with three strikeouts today. He winds, he deals. A little low. Three and one. Seika looks at second and delivers. There's a strike. Full count. The decisive pitch. And this is up the middle, and it's gloved by the shortstop. Throw to first, they'll get the out. Six to three, four out number three. We head to the bottom of the second. We are now to that one apiece here at Adams Field in Quincy on HCAM WACA TV and HCAP. Bottom of the second inning, six, seven, and eight do up. Balowitz, Tang, and Dushney. Face Matt Donahue. A one to one game. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. One and oh. Donahue deals, there's a strike. One and one is the count. Line up and the pitch, strike two. Here's the one two, that's fouled right towards us. Count remains one and two. Ballot scored the go-ahead run in last night's win over Medfield. In the bottom of the sixth. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. He's going to try to run it out. Throw to first. In time. One away. That'll bring up Lawrence Tang, the designated hitter. Coach Obit has faith in the young Lawrence Tang. He wants to give him an opportunity to get in there against some good pitching, and he's come through a number of times. First pitch is ball one. The 1-0. One -oh. There's a strike. One and one on Tang. Set to deal, swing and a miss. One and two. He winds, he deals, swing and a miss. So number two. I'll bring up Mason Dushney. Well, Matt Donahue starting to find a little rhythm for Medfield. Set to deliver. And now time needed. Leg left and the pitch. Outside.
Here's the 1 0. Down low. 2 and 0 on Dushney. Nick Calabrese. Do up. Shall Dushney reach? Down low. 3 and 0. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Three and one. And he'll get a piece of it up the middle and it takes a weird hop to the shortstop throw to first in time. One, two, three, they go to the top of the third. We go, we are not at one apiece here at Adams Field in Quincy. You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Playoff Baseball. Top of the third inning, top of the order for Medfield. A one-to-one -one game. Ashland 7's plating a run in the bottom of the first. Medfield responded in the top of the second. And then a... 1-2-3 inning in the bottom of the second. As there's a strike delivered to Sheehan. The 0-1. Down low. Here's the 1-1. Up the left side, foul. One and two. The one two pitch. And this is chopped in the air, an infield fly here, and Dushney lost it. Dushney lost it, perhaps in the lights. And Sheehan reaches. That'll bring up Max Goodman. Runner on first, no outs. There's a strike, 0 oh and 1. I don't know if you'd call that an error or a single. He didn't touch it and he lost it. Don't give it a single, I guess. There's a bunt attempt there for strike 2. 0 oh and 2, runner on first, no outs for Medfield. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss, out number one. That'll bring up Dennis Full in the DH. Great crowd on hand here tonight. A lot of supporters for the Ashland Sevens in attendance. Hoping to watch them take home the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Championship swing and a miss. No and one. Slight lead at first, a little high. One and one. Set to deal. Breaking pitch low, two and one. Looks like maybe a little knuckleball action there. Fonseca looks at first and delivers. Down low, runner taking off, Horning lost it. Stolen base by Sheehan. Three and one count. Hey, 
set to deal. There's a strike, full count. Wind up and the pitch. Outside, it's a walk. Now bring up Sam Palmer, the center fielder. Runners on first and second, one out. Coach Obed wants to talk. Well, Dylan Fonseca struggling a bit to find the strike zone on that last hitter. Coach Obed trying to keep him at bay with the cleanup man stepping in. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. One and oh count. He winds, he deals. That's fouled away. One and one. Two on, one out in the inning for Medfield, a one-to-one -one game. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and two. Fonseca set to deal. And this is hit in the air above the shortstop into center field. It goes. And the lead runner held up at third. It'll be two in scoring position with one out for Medfield. McSheehan up to third. and it's fallen to second. Sam Palmer to first. I'll bring up Ben Leonard, who's a big threat. Big opportunity here for the River Rats. And this is hit in the air to right field, and that's fair. One run is in, here comes another run. And it's a three to one medfield lead. A two RBI single by Ben Leonard. Sheehan into score as well as Dennis Follin. Sam Palmer up to third. Runners on the corner, still only one out. And Medfield has the advantage with Jack McDonald coming to the plate. There's a strike. Oh, and one. Well, you wonder what the leash will be with Fonseca today. He winds, he deals, swing and a miss. Here's the 0-2, and this is hit into right field, and another run will score for Medfield. An RBI single for McDonald, and it's a 4-1 lead. That'll bring up Jack Goodman, the shortstop. Well, Medfield making some noise with the bats. Low, one and oh. It does look like the 
Sevens are going to get Louis Dennison loose. Wind up and the pitch. If they lose this game, you know it'll likely be Tyler Dossis getting the nod tomorrow. Set to deliver. And Hornung threatens to throw down to first. There's ball two, two and oh. I'll make that three and oh, excuse me. Swing and a miss. Three and one. Still only one out in the inning. Two on for Medfield. They've already played it three runs in the inning. There's another strike, full count. Count remains full. <laughs> Set to deal. Fouled away. Hornung wants a word with Fonseca. A four to one lead for Medfield. They've played it three runs here in the top of the third. Well, you wonder if playing uh, a game prior to a championship game has a uh, impact as there's a walk in a positive way. You're certainly stretched out. And it did seem like it was a neck and neck game with Quincy earlier, seven to six final to allow Medfield to get to this championship round. Ryan Murray steps in. I don't imagine that the leash is too much longer with Fonseca. Down low, good block by Hornung. Set to deal. Hit in the air, foul. One and one. Here's the one one. Swing and a miss. Sevens will certainly need to make some noise with the bats to get back into this game. Four to one lead for Medfield. Two on, or excuse me, bases loaded with one out. Swing and a miss, there's out number two. We'll bring up Michael Giglio, the catcher. There's a strike. Here's the 0-1. Foul tipped, 0-2. 
So the scenarios are if Ashland ends up coming back and winning, they are the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League champions. If Medfield wins, there'll be a game at five o'clock tomorrow right here at Adams Field. And the winner of that game would be the champions. Ashland will certainly have some work to do if they want to earn that title tonight. Down low, one and two. The dimensions here at Adams Field, it is 346 to left, 363 to center, 340 to right field. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss, out number three. But Medfield plates three runs, they lead it four to one as we head to the bottom of the third. You are tuned in to Ashland 7 Summer Baseball. Bottom of the third inning, the Sevens trailing Medfield 4-1. to 9-1 and 2 to up, Nick Calabresi, Dante DiAvanzo, Sam Farrell. Line up and the pitch. Outside, 1-0. and oh. Line up and the pitch, swing and a miss, one and one. Here's the one one, up high. Two and one. Set to deliver. Inside. Three and one. There's the three one. And there's a walk. Lead man on. Dante Diavanzo stepping to the plate. If there's any part of the batting order that could get the job done, it's the top of the order. Of course, a pretty strong middle of the order as well. Up high. Oh, well, it was a long top of the third, and sometimes when pitchers have a lot of rest between innings, they're a little rusty. Line up and the pitch. Down low. Two and oh. Slight lead off of first by Calabrese. Up high. Three and oh. Line up and the pitch. There's a second straight walk. That'll bring up Sam Farrell, the center fielder, and it'll also bring out the midfield coach to have a word with Matt Donahue for bringing the whole infield. So the sevens, they have two on base, no outs, here in the bottom of the third. And you got Farrell coming to the plate, followed by Horning and Kavanaugh. That is certainly exactly what you want coming up if you're the sevens. Farrell steps to the plate. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. There's the 0-1. Down low. One and one. And he'll get a piece of this fouled away. One and two. Nick Larsh making a nice play. 
In foul territory. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Out number one. That'll bring up Jackson Hornung. Hornung reached on a force out in the first inning. Or excuse me, he reached on a walk and then he was thrown out trying to advance to third. The pitch down low. Here's the 1-0. And he'll get a piece of this one ripped up the left side, but it is called foul. Ooh, I don't know about that one. That was close. I didn't get a good enough view of it to really be precise on if it was foul or not, but it was certainly close. Well, Hopkinton Senior Ruth team, they're in the championship series against Marlboro. It's the best of three series. And they got the win tonight over at Hopkinton High School. We'll have coverage of Hopkinton Senior Ruth tomorrow night at 6.30 from Marlboro. This is up the middle, glove by the second baseman, throw to second for one, that's all they'll get. So Hornung reaches on the four to six force out. Calabrese up to third, runners on the corners. Tom Cavanaugh to the plate with two outs. And boy, could the sevens use a hit here. Only one hit so far by the sevens. There's a strike. And it looks like Matt Donahue starting to find the strike zone once again after walking a pair. And he couldn't hold, there's a strike. Stolen base by Hornung. So it's Hornung on second, Calabrese on third, 0-2 pitch. Not quite sure what that was about. Here's the 0-2. Outside. One and two. Down low, two and two. The 2-2 pitch, down low, full count. Well, if you're gonna swing here, you better make sure it's a strike. Two on, two outs. Outside, gets away from the catcher, runner holds up. So it's bases loaded now with two outs. Tyler Dossis coming to the plate. Well, Tyler's been big in the postseason this year for the Sevens. Let's see if he could have another big moment here. And he hits this one up the right side of the second baseman. Throw to first, not a problem. Four to three for out number three. We head to the top of the fourth. Medfield four, Ashland one on HCAM, WACA TV and HCAM. Top of the fourth inning, and it's top of the order for Medfield. They batted around last inning and played it three runs. Dylan Fonseca back out there on the mound, but if he starts to struggle, it's hard to believe that the leash will be too long. First pitch is high, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One and one. There's the one one. Fouled away. Past the backstop it goes. One and two.
Set to deliver. That's chipped foul. Count remains one and two. Here's the one two pitch inside. Two and two. He winds, he deals down low. It's a walk. Oh, they're going to say it hit him. Well, she claimed it hit his foot, and the ump granted him first base. Max Goodman will step in. Coach Obey doesn't like the call. And we'll have to replay the tape on that one. Max Goodman 0 for 2 so far today. And the uh, umps are talking things over. They're going to overturn it. Nick Sheehan will go back to the batter's box with a 3-2 count. Now the midfield coach isn't happy. Can't please everybody. So Sheehan steps back in. Three and two is the count. Bases clear, no outs. And he got him. One away. That'll bring up Max Goodman, the second baseman. Swing and a miss, so oh and one. Wind up and the pitch. Down low, one and one. Set to deliver. Little low, says the umpire. Two and one. Set the deal. There's a strike. Two and two. the 2-2. Two -two. Hit up the right side. Fair ball. And it is going to be taken in right field by Calabrese who will throw it in. It's a one-out single by Goodman. And now Dennis Fullen will come to the plate. Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. One on, one out. Set to deal. Down low. One and one is the count on Fullen. He winds, he deals, hit high in the air over towards second base and ranging back in a shallow center field to make the catch is Dossus. Two away, 
That'll bring up Sam Palmer, the center fielder. And Sam Palmer's been a pest for Ashland. Two for two today, he scored two runs already. And yesterday he scored a run as well and went one for three in that game. That was the reason he's in the cleanup spot. Reliable hitter for Medfield. Takes a strike. Here's the 0-1. That is fouled towards the Ashland bench. 0 and 2. And this is hit high in the air, right side, and it is caught for the third out. And we will head on to the bottom of the fourth. Ashland has some work to do. Trailing Medfield, 4-1 to one on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. Seven and eight do up for the sevens. Balowitz, Tang, and Dushney. Does look like they're gonna pinch hit for Tang. They got Connor Kramer in the on-deck circles. That's fouled away. Oh, and one's the count. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh, and two. He winds, he deals, swing and a miss. Out number one, that'll bring up Connor Kramer, who's pinch hitting for Lawrence Tang, and will take over as the DH. Up high. Line up and the pitch, and Kramer gets a piece of this one. Up the middle, then bobbled by the shortstop. It was hard hit, and he just couldn't get the glove on it. Kramer's aboard with a hard hit single. That'll bring up Mason Dushney. Oh, pretty good piece of hitting by Kramer, and Goodman just didn't get down on it far enough. And it looks like it hit the part of the glove towards where his wrist is. Kramer slides back to first. Kramer does have speed. But I'd say in this situation, you can't risk it too much with base runners. You need them. That hit him. In any case, Kramer takes off as it was a wild pitch. It's Kramer now at second. Here's the 1 0 pitch. There's a strike. 1 and 1. <laughs> 1 1 pitch. And this is hit up the left side. Love by the shortstop. It's a long throw, and it's going to get away. And here comes Connor Kramer to score a sevens run. It's a 4 to 2 game. Hey, Sadushny with an RBI single advancing to second. Kramer scores on the error. And that'll bring up Nick Calabrese. Well, that's what the Sevens needed, something to lift up their spirits and get the juices flowing. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss by Calabrese. Calabrese walked in his only plate appearance. A 
Wind up and the pitch, up high. And the runner heading to third. I don't know why you would do that, but Dushney thrown out, caught stealing. I think a little too big of a risk there. Got a runner in scoring position, one out. Calabrese into Yavonzo coming up. And now you got bases clear and two outs. And this is hit in the air, left side foul. 0-2. Oh Wind up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air, left side, and it is foul. Hit in the air over to center field and it is caught for the third out. The sevens play to run, but Medfield leads it four to two as we head to the top of the fifth on HCAM, WACA TV and HCAM. Top of the fifth inning. Dylan Fonseca remains on the mound. A four to two Medfield lead. Ben Leonard steps in. And he takes one over his head, 1-0. and oh. Five, six, and seven due up for Medfield. Leonard, McDonald, and Goodman. Line up and the pitch. There's a strike, one and one. Here's the 1-1, one, one. little low. Two one pitch, there's a strike, two and two. And this is hit up the middle, right back to Fonseca. Throw to first, got him. One to three, four out number one. That'll bring up Jack McDonald, the first baseman. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air over to center field. Could be trouble. That'll get down for a long hit. Chasing it all the way back to the fence is Farrell. Throw to second out in time. And McDonald slides in with a one out double. Well, Jack McDonald's having quite a day at the plate for Medfield. Three for three on the day. And has an RBI. And now another guy having a pretty good day stepping in, Jack Goodman. Goodman one for one with a walk. And he has an RBI as well. well. It's been the middle part of the year. The five, six, and seven spots have been really dangerous for Ashland. There's a strike. Here's the 0-1. A little high, one and one. Set to deliver. This is it high in the air, right side, foul territory. Kavanaugh ranging over and no one will get there. One and two. Let's 
A 4-2 midfield lead here in the top of the fifth. Down low, Warren with a nice block. Two and two. Runner on second, one out in the inning. Fonseca deals, down low, there's a walk. Two on, one out, Ryan Murray to the plate. Yeah, I think uh, they said the hitter actually, the batter actually got hit. The upset right in the foot because that actually should have been a three and two count, but the ump said Goodman got hit. No, Murray steps in with two on, one out. And he'll rip this up the right side, handled by Kavanaugh. He'll step on the first base bag to get one. Both runners do advance, but there is two outs. I'll bring up Michael Giglio, the catcher. Giglio 0 for 2 so far today. He deals, fouled away. Oh, and one. It was quite a comeback yesterday by the Ashland Sevens team. They're down three to two, heading into the bottom of the sixth. And then a wild pitch allowed a run to come around and a misfire from the catcher to the pitcher to get Balowitz trying to score, allowed him to come around. Fouled away, Ballowitz really hustled from second base to get all the way home on the misfire. And actually what encouraged Ballowitz to really come home was the attempt to get the to get Dossis, who scored first. And you can see the end of last night's game on the HKM YouTube page. It is up right now. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Yep, didn't like it, one and two. Two in scoring position, but two outs. Here's the one, two. Hit in the air, right side. Kavanaugh trying to track it down, and he will. Well, the sevens get out of the top of the fifth, unscathed, and we will head to the bottom of the inning. It is Medfield two, Ashland, or excuse me, Medfield four, Ashland two. You are tuned in to Ashland sevens summer playoff baseball. Bottom of the fifth inning, top of the order for the Ashland Sevens. Dante D'Avanzo, Sam Farrell, Jackson, Horning do up. D'Avanzo having a pretty good day. He's one for one at the plate with a walk. Line up and the pitch from Murray, swing and a miss. Oh and one. Four to two Medfield lead if Medfield hangs on. They play tomorrow in a win it all game if Ashland wins it. The title of the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League will belong to the Sevens. Wind up and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Out number one. Or excuse me, one and two. Murray set to deal. Outside, two and two. There's the 2-2 two -two pitch. 
And he gets a piece of it up the left side through the third baseman's glove. And D'Avonzo is aboard. That'll bring up Sam Farrell, the center fielder. A tying run at the plate. Check it at first, runner back safe. If you're the sevens here, you got Farrell, Hornung, Kavanaugh do up the ultra conservatives, ultra conservative on the base path. Yeah, briefly got away from the catcher. It is a strike. Oh and one. Wind up and the pitch. And this is up the middle, gloved by the second baseman, steps on second for one, throw to first, doubles him up. Four to three, double play. And I'll bring up Jackson Hornan. Well, that's the last thing you want if you're the sevens. Right up in the pitch. Down low. Set to deliver. And Hornung gets a piece of this, ripped up the left side. And that'll be a 2 0 base hit. We'll bring up Tom Cavanaugh, the first baseman. He's 0 for 1 today, reached on a force out and has walked. There's a strike. Here's the 0-1, Jackson taking off, throw to second, got him. Caught stealing for out number three. And we will head to the top of the six on HCAM, WACA TV and HCAM. Top of the sixth inning, new pitcher for the sevens. Louis Dennison is into the game. He'll take over for Dylan Fonseca. Fonseca lasted five innings and gave up four runs. There's a four to two lead for Medfield, top of the order coming up. Nick Sheehan, Max Goodman, and Dennis Follen. We'll see what the submarine style hurlers got. He deals, there's a bunt foul. There's the 0-1. And this is hit high in the air in the infield. Shea Donovan, who took over at third base, makes the catch. One away, that'll bring up Max Goodman. Up and the pitch. A little high. One and O. Oh. Looks good, been one for three today. He deals. And this is hit high in the air. Foul right towards us. Look out. One and 
one. Dennison set to deal. And this is fouled away. Look out. One and two. Lefty steps back in. Swing and a miss. Got him. Two away. That'll bring up Dennis Fullen. There's a strike. says the umpire, one and one. Line up and the pitch. And this is up the middle, that'll trickle into center field, a two out single. For Dennis Fullen, that'll bring up Sam Palmer. The cleanup man and center fielder. Dangerous part of the order for Medfield. Line up and the pitch. Hit in the air over to center field, and it is caught by Farrell for the third out. We will head to the bottom of the sixth. The sevens running out of time, trailing Medfield 4-2 to two on HKM WACA TV and HCAP. Bottom of the sixth inning, Tom Cavanaugh stepping in, 4-5 and 6 to up to face Matt Donahue, who's pitched a good game so far. That's up high, one and oh. A four to two lead for Medfield. The sevens need to get the bats going. Uh, outside. Two and oh. Cavanaugh, Dossis, Balowitz do up. Outside, three and oh. Medfield does have warm-up action. There's ball four. Kavanaugh draws the walk. Tyler Dossis stepping to the plate. Medfield coach coming out. Let's see if he takes the ball. like he's going to stay with Murray for now. Well, Dossis with an opportunity. Kavanaugh on first, no outs. If Matt Donahue starts struggling, you can't imagine the leash is too long. Wind up and the pitch, up high. Here's the 1 0. This is fouled away. 1 and 1. 
Let's nice play there by Coach Obid. Certainly still throw the ball pretty hard. Of course, Coach Obid was in the States with the Ashland Sevens back in 2017, just three years ago. Set for the 1-1 pitch. And this is up the right side. That'll get into right field. Kavanaugh is going to keep going to third. The throw in is not going to be in time, and Kavanaugh is safe. Dossis advancing to second. Runners on second and third. No outs for the sevens. Kevin Balowitz coming to the plate. And the crowd erupts here at Adams Field. Balowitz 0 for 2 on the day. Now the question is, do you walk Balowitz and set up a potential double play situation here? Looks like they're going to pitch to him. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 1. Connor Kramer on deck. And he makes contact up the left side. Glove by the third baseman. Throw to first. They get the out. Runners stay put. Five to three for out number one. And now Connor Kramer coming up to the plate. Kramer singled and scored a run in the fourth to make it a four to two game. He ended up coming home on a misfire by the shortstop. Wind up and the pitch. Outside, one and oh. Wind up and the pitch. Down low. Two and oh. Fouled away, two and one. Hard thrown pitch there by Matt Donahue. Here's the 2-1. Kramer hits this one up the right side, low by the second baseman, throw to first, they get the out. Four to three for out number two. And now it'll be up to Shea Donovan to take advantage of two in scoring position. Shea Donovan making his first plate appearance of the game, came in the last inning to take over at third base. We'll see what he could do at the plate in this crucial situation. Wind up and the pitch. Up high. One and oh. Cavanaugh at third, Dossus at second. Two outs. Wind up and the pitch. Strike. One and one. Down low, two and one. Donahue set the deal. Called strike, Latai, two and two. Down low, full count. Wind up and the pitch. 
fouled away. Battle continues. Toss is at second, Kavanaugh at third, two outs, full count pitch to Shea Donovan. And he draws the walk. And the ball gets away, Kavanaugh trying to score! And they call him out! The ball got away, Kavanaugh came home and said he jumped over the tag and they call him out. Unbelievable. Kavanaugh fired up the baseline and is claiming that he was never tagged, but the ump thought differently. And we will head to the top of the seventh. Medfield leading Ashland, four to two. As Kavanaugh tried to score on a wild pitch and thought he avoided the tag, the ump thought differently. In any case, here we are in the seventh inning. Medfield leading by two. Ben Leonard at the plate takes a strike. Ben Leonard, Jack McDonald, Jack Goodman do up for Medfield. Ashland will be down to their final three outs in the bottom of the seventh. Time called. Right up and the pitch. There's a strike, going two. He deals, and this is right back to Dennison, and he'll run it out, throw it over, one away. I'll bring up Jack McDonald. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Down low. One and one. and deals down low two and one line up and the pitch this is right back to Dennison and he will throw it over two away I'll bring up Jack Goodman the shortstop is one for one with a pair of walks. There's a strike. Oh, and one. He deals. Swing and a miss. So and two. And this is up the left side. Love by the shortstop. Throw over is going to get away. An errant throw will allow Goodman to reach. He's going to keep going to second. The throw to second, they get him. A nice throw by Kavanaugh to Dossis, and they get Goodman trying to go to second. But the Ashland Sevens are down to their final three outs as we head to the bottom of the seventh. 
on HCAM, WACA TV, and HCAT. New pitcher for Medfield to try to close it out. Thomas Shirtleff on the mound. 9 1 and 2 do up for the Sevens. Nick Calabrese, Dante DeAvonzo, Sam Farrell. If Ashland can't score in this inning and Medfield hangs on, there will be a championship elimination game tomorrow at 5 p.m. right here at Adams Field. The winner takes the league championship. The loser, they will be the second place finisher in the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League. A 2 and 0 count. Up high. Rio pitch, and there's ball four. Runner on first, no outs. Dante Diavanzo to the plate. Line up and the pitch. Hit high in the air, right side, out of play. Ooh, that hit a car. Oh, and one. That was the big, ooh, across the stadium. Sounded like some glass. Someone's going to have to call their insurance company. Calabrese with a small lead off of first. There's a strike, 0 and 2. I know Coach Obed likes to take risks on the base paths, but this situation, you cannot take too many risks, or you'll hurt yourself. Outside, 1 and 2. Ivanzo, 2 for 2 on the day with a walk. There's a ball, two and two. I'm sure left steps off to take a look at first. Wind up and the pitch, swing and a miss, and he will be tagged out, one away. I'll bring up Sam Farrell. Sam Farrell has reached on a force out, struck out and grounded out. Sevens down to their final two outs. As midfield trying to force a game tomorrow evening to determine the championship winner. Swing and a miss. Well, you know what you're getting with Shirtleff. He's just going to fire out straight fastballs. Right up and the pitch, fouled away. Oh, and two. Oh, we'll have to go find that baseball. Travel quite a ways past the backstop. Right up and the pitch, down low, one and two. Jackson Hornung do up next. Very small lead by Calabrese. Down low, two and two. And the pitch, fouled away. Another one that clears the backstop. Yeah. 
Shirt left from the stretch. And this is chipped foul. Well, Sam Farrell is going to make this game run out of baseballs. The 2-2. Up high, gets away from the catcher. Runner from first will advance. Wild pitch there, and it's a full count on Farrell. So Calabrese now at second base. Medfield up by two. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Count remains full. Good battle here between Sam Farrell and Thomas Shirtleff. And there's strike three. Got him looking, two away. Jackson Hornung will step in. Second straight strikeout by Shirtleff. The sevens down to their final out. Up high. One and oh. Strike one. Line up and the pitch. And this is hit in the air over to center field and it's caught. And that's it for the ball game. Medfield forces an elimination game tomorrow at 5 p.m. The winner of tomorrow's game takes the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League title. With the Ashland Sevens falling short tonight to Medfield. The final score, Medfield 4, Ashland 2. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. Thanks for watching. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you again soon. Good night, everybody.